Hello and welcome my lozenges of extreme desire. It's SJB here and we are having a party today! Uh, no, not too crazy for party, just just a, a fun little party. And if you guys want to be so nice, you want to help Chris out, help the al algorithm out, press that like button, make sure you subscribe! Okay, yeah, do that really fast. Amazing like. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on getting um, a couple cool towers in the late game. Unfortunately, all those towers are late game or mid-ish late game towers. So I just want to get a regular old start going right now. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a boomerang, dart monkey, sub combo. I want to play that into a quick Pat Fusty, which is honestly, in my opinion, one of the weirdest heroes in the game. He really, really, really needs to be used as like a support tower rather than an attack tower. And it's kind of hard to do that. But I think in this situation, it's going to make a lot of sense for us. So uh, he's still expensive, though. And getting him going, it's more of a you got to get the experience so we can be useful in the late game rather than he's actually going to help us out right, right now. He's a fairly inefficient popper overall. But I think it's going to be enough for us. So anyways, Pat Fusty, can we afford you, good sir? Oh, crap. Boop, 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 boop. Tight. Oh, gosh. Yellow balloons already. Oh, man. This is getting crazy already. Round 11, dude. Pat, why are you so expensive? I, should, I feel like you should be at, at the very least just a slightly less expensive starting hero don't know why exactly it just just because he, he's not that great right now um he does some pops and we got him in a nice little corner here so hopefully he can get some corner damage and everything but me shme but i got pet on strong round 15 this could be tough this could be tough i'm gonna try to use his ability at the right time here i want to make sure i'm killing the pinks and the yellows and there we go pinks smack attack uh oh we got a big chunk of pinks here uh oh can the sub deal mm, it's gonna be close oh the sub barely snipes sub Snipe it! No! Okay, it's not a big deal. We're gonna have to b b throw down our mortar already. Ugh. Again, all of my towers that I really want to build here are gonna be somewhat of late game towers. So, uh, sh whoa, 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 whoa! Did we really do worse this time? How did a mortar end up making our popping power less good? I, I don't get it. Um, did I miss time my ability or something like? That? <laughs> I just don't know. Um, either which way, uh, I think this time around maybe we should get lucky or skilled. And we do. We take down round 15. One of the toughest rounds of the game, admittedly. Ooh, good thing Pat's amazing against Black Blooms, dude. He's smacking these blacks down into straight-up reds. That's good! All right. Now, we're getting we're getting to uh, this this very, very tricky situation right now. I'm right at the cusp of getting my Helipellet going. But I gotta play this super-duper-duper duper smart and awesome and everything to get it actually happening here. Helipilot, where are you at? Get him going. Bam! Last second. Boom. Get him taken down. Now, uh, unfortunately, we still have to get camera detection, and I don't know how I want to do that yet. I can't afford it with a mortar. I could buy a ninja. That just seems worthless. I think we're just going to go for a quick uh, random dart monkey in the bottom here. Even though it's not the best way to do it, it's going to help us out for 24, and then by 33, we'll have something else that can hopefully do it. Probably our heli. All right, so as far as leads go, we actually do have that covered. Pat can pop them. Mortar can pop them. Not worried about that. Cleanup still should be pretty easy as well, so we've got all that going for ourselves. I do need to make sure I get the camera detection, though, so we're just going to get the IFR for our heli pallet, even though it's a little bit early here. Also decided to go for quad darts, and we are going to go for that pursuit so I can fly around all over the map and just start popping things. At this point, I feel pretty comfy. This is admittedly, though, as you can plainly tell, kind of it's just a smorgasbord of randomness at this point. I'm really not, I do not have a cohesive strategy whatsoever. This is just me throwing crap down and hope, hopefully having it work for us. But long term, one thing you're going to notice here is that most of my towers that are in the front of the map here are all just going to be here because we want to get a village to buff everybody, but can be microed to not be in the front of the map. Everybody else is in the back of the map. The people that we can't control are in the back. So we're being smart here because we're planning on getting one specific tower here that is going to make all of our strategy work very, very well. So I should mention really quickly, we are on chimps. And on chimps, the eye of chimps is income. Income, you cannot make any extra income in this game. So if we buy something like a rubber to gold or a lead to gold, we don't make any extra money off those balloons. But... When we get the Bloom Master Alchemist, you might be thinking, well, 43,000, we've been only paying like 47,000. That's not bad, that's not bad. Uh, but the Bloom Master Alchemist is going to not only not make us extra income, he is going to make our income go down. Every single big bloom that he pops, you do not make any money off of it. So if you base a lot of your defense off of a Bloom Master Alchemist, and then you don't have the right amount of pop power, you can get screwed over very, very hard, very, very easily. So... You have to be careful with getting get BMA, but if you play it right, if you play it smart, you get the right towers, the right combo, and you use them at the right time, Blue Master Alchemist can actually be a decent chimps tower. And that's what I want to prove today. 
BMA on chips, baby. All right, so we're gonna start off with a uh, uh, a quick artillery battery. I think we gotta get it before round 40, or otherwise we're screwed. Um, I'm gonna leave him near the front of the map, and then uh, he's gotta be my mobile pop and power. That's the kind of unfortunate thing here. Pat's gonna do a little bit of it. The artillery battery has to do the bulk of it, and then straight up, that is our defense for a fairly long time. Artillery, artillery battery and Pat combo. A little bit of cleanup in the back. Everybody else can just sort of do their jobs and uh, 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 keep things going. But this is my defense right now. A balloon-busting artillery battery, one of the best towers in the entire game. So check this out. With the artillery battery blast, we blow up the Moab and everything inside so oh easily. Now, unfortunately, we didn't really plan for camp detection, so I might have to get more. All I have is the IFR with Pursuit right now, and I don't know if that's going to be enough for round 42. I cannot afford it with the village either, so we're going to have to think on our feet, maybe with the pad ability. Maybe we'll just get strong enough to randomly just... Power this guy up and, and take him down. That's that's the hope, at least. And then I've got to get a village going soon after that. All right, here we go. Camo's about to come out. Let's get Pat angry. Get the helipilot flowing. And with the helipilot combo, we do. We make it happen. And that's going to get us straight to our village. Boom, boom. With a radar scanner and jungle drums to bundle everybody up into a delicious, awesome set. So artillery battery's good, but he cannot handle for a very, very long time. I mean, he's good against the balloons, but once you start dealing with Moab's balloons and combos of things, he does get overwhelmed fairly easily. So you might be thinking that we're going to go for something that sort of uh, helps him out, but actually, we're going to be going for something sort of weird. We're going to be going for a downdraft heli, which is possibly one of the weirdest towers in the entire game. Some people love this thing. I generally do not use it. All right, I don't like the downdraft. I don't like when I send things back. It sucks against regens. It generally doesn't help against balloons as much as you usually want it to. And uh, I feel like I'm just more of a, a popper kind of guy. I like to kill the balloons. I don't like to, like, keep them on the screen, let other things pop them. Unless it's glue. Glue's, glue's good for that, or ice. But not, not, not downdraft. I don't know why. I just don't like him. Not a big fan. Support Judah, kind of the same thing. I mean, what's the point of him? I mean, if we move towers around a little bit, okay. I mean, if we're trying to make money or get uh, uh, health eventually, sure. But on chimps mode, we can't do either of, those, either of those things. So does that mean this is a worthless, worthless, worthless tower? Kind of. Support Judah? Not going to help us out much, but I'm going to buy him anyways. All right, now this guy is a blowback king. So we've got a stunner and a blowback king. All again, powered up by a jungle drums radar scanner. Looks really weird, but really the artillery battery is doing almost everything right now. Or is he? Support shutter. Not bad. Look at that pop count. Better than the artillery battery. Uh, whoa, whoa, actually, that actually is blowing my mind a little bit, but all right. Let's uh, see if we can carry this for a little while, because I do want to go for my fifth tier special operation soon. $32,000. An expensive tower, but believe it or not, not useful for health, not useful for income, but useful for popping power. So check this out. When I throw it at a crate, I get no health, I get no money. Right? It's just kind of sad um, to, like, watch that happen, because if I was doing the strategy on a non-chimps run, it would make so much sense. But without that, looks like we're, we're playing terrible, I guess. But even though we're playing pretty bad with some weird towers that don't really make much sense together, somehow they're, they're working. They are just actually not just working, they're dom dominating, actually. It almost doesn't make any sense. All right, we got a BFB coming out. Let's, art let's, uh, let's, oh, we got the hug. Oh, let's hug it, baby. And then we're going to artillery battery on top of that hug. And uh, he stuns him afterwards, and we blow it all up. <laughs> all right, so we have almost 20 grand saved up already by the time we get to round 63. But this is round 63 coming up soon. Ooh, we've got mobs trying to sneak through, but guess what? Okay, actually, you know what? I take it back. Support Chinook, useless? No, he's actually pretty useful. Uh, it, at the very least, sending balloons back, popping webs. I mean, that's exactly what our weakness is, which is just balloons sneaking through my general... Uh, uh, destruction zone right here. Don't get me wrong, I can micro my artillery battery, but I, I can't do much more than that. Here we go, round 63, though. Let's use Pat's ability first. Um, we're gonna have to micro this artillery battery a little bit. Oh, crap, yes, we do. Oh, crap, yes, we do. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Yes, we do. We have to micro quite a bit here, actually. All right. Oh, Support Chinook's trying to leave right now. All right, so that's... Uh, we're gonna have no Pat ability this time, but I'm gonna be able to micro a little bit better, because I'll know that it's actually necessary. And this time around, it goes, oh, so much better. And now we'll have the artillery battery blast, and we'll blow up the last set of run 63 here. And hopefully also a little bit into 64, because this is actually a pretty difficult uh, Moab section. Let's reuse Pat's ability again. Uh, get everybody angry and everything. Um, if you let anything sneak through, it's okay. Support Chunk's got it covered over here, at least for the most part. Uh, we got two more Moabs trying to sneak through the back here. We got to move the artillery battery to the uh, front, actually. Send them back, though. Send them back. Keep them in the death zone. 
we made it a new death zone. The corners, man. Every single corner's gotta be a death zone. All right, round 68, getting a little tricky here. Artillery battery again coming in pretty clutch, though. And we, again, manage pretty well. Uh, about $1,000 away from special operations, and I really feel like that is gonna be a huge change in total pop and power for us. It will be active, though. I should mention, this is gonna be an active... Ab oh, I thought I had it already. It's gonna be an activated ability. We're gonna have to keep it going, because it, uh... It comes back pretty quickly and goes away pretty quickly. So check this out. I'm going to use this ability. It's going to throw it down wherever it can. Oh, we can't leave him on pursuit. We're going to have to put him on full. Oh, that sucks. Can I throw it down right there? Okay. So I'm not super happy about that. With pursuit, if you can't put him down uh, close enough to you, it just doesn't let you put it down. So being near these bricks does not leave us a lot of room to uh, put things down. So it, it can get tricky where we can't put them down right when we want to. But overall, things are still going good enough. The uh, general idea here is we do want to put him next to the uh, village. Get the Juggle Drums buff on even your Marine. And uh, if we can just, I guess, pop things so quickly, maybe we can just leave <laughs> leave this guy in the very, very front of the map and uh, let them pop everything before we even get uh, down to the back here. All right, keep it running. Oh my god, two Marines at the same time is delicious. All right, so what do we do at this point? Well, at this point... We've got mostly everything we need, but we don't quite have the oh my god popping power, or excuse me, the bad popping power necessary to pop uh, uh, that guy. But I think we can make that happen still. Even if we end up losing out on billions of dollars for the rest of the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start saving up for the next, the next big boy, the next main character of our defense, and that's going to be... It is going to be a really weird tower. A Bloon Master Alchemist. So don't forget, we talked about this guy a little earlier, but... Uh-oh, uh, uh -oh, Marines. If I don't, if I forget about Marines, we do actually suck. His range is pretty decent, though, so... Down over here, you can be okay. Uh, but, Roman Gold, again, useless. Literally a, a, a waste of money. Not only, um... Uh, how many pops did they get? A hundred? A thousand? Nothing. Uh, I guess, I guess, I guess, maybe the lead to gold can do a little bit of bonus damage to TPs, like, if you're really thinking about that, but that is not a reasonable way, a reasonable reason to buy this guy. That just makes no sense. All right, another Marine here, a little on the late side, I guess. I gotta keep up with it, man. It's, it's tough. What, what is this? Six, six is the hotkey? Let's just keep hitting six. I wish I had a little, like, uh, automatic thing, where I could just, like, set it down automatically, like a sentry bot or something like that, just keep it activated all the time. That'd be sweet. But I don't. But anyway, which way? Rubber to gold, lead to gold, basically worthless, but Blue Master Alchemist actually harmful to the amount of money you're making. And if money is something that's gonna help you defend in this game, you're gonna need that money. So, uh, uh, the earlier we get this guy, the more we're screwed, kind of. Kind of. All right, so we're also struggling against Bloons a little bit, clearly, but that's kind of the biggest Bloon Rush we're gonna see for quite a while, so I guess I shouldn't be too afraid, at least not yet. All right, Marine can't come out yet. There we go. Uh, uh, other way though, being harmful to your total popping, to your total uh, income, sucks. It's not fun to lose out on money in any which way, shape, or form. I mean, everybody knows it's fun to be greedy in this game, to build banana farms, to build merchant ships, to build uh, awesome heli pilots that can give you money and health. But when we have a lack of money and health from our heli pilot, is stealing of money from our uh, our Blue Master Alchemist, is this going to be a good way to play the game? I don't know. I don't know. But I'd like to give it a shot and see if BMA can be a useful tower in Chimps mode. All right, the, the cool thing is, is we get to gauge exactly when we want to buy him. We can say, well, you know what? We can survive 81. We can survive 87. We can survive 93. We can survive 98. And we only build a Blue Master Alchemist around 99, maybe. As long as we have the money for it, we can buy it whenever we want to and just build them when we actually need to pop things. Um, so we can keep on building money until we need to use him, which is a fun way to play the game. Um, we have that in our back pocket. We can use it whenever we want to. So it's kind of just, uh, oh, just a freaking weird strategy, dude. A weird chimp strategy that makes no sense. We're going to make it work. All right, everything's still going pretty phenomenal at this point. Pat's getting pretty quick with his attack speed, so he's actually able to stun a lot of these balloons. Um, my Marine, I, if I cannot pop it out, it, it definitely does start to get further and further, but as soon as I do pop it out, I usually pop it out over here. The other pops out right up over here, or over here, kind of depending where I'm at. And then, um, uh, it still is defending, though, pretty well. 
I also have hugs for the big blues, so so my gods and everything, we can stun with that, and we can use multiple abilities to still take down fairly large rushes of blues right here. And you can notice, we have the money. We have BMA money right now. So if you're going to cross path, I still think larger potions is probably the better option. I'm pretty sure. And I don't usually use this guy, so I, I can't promise you. But I'm pretty sure that will make it so we can hit more uh, Zoma Gods and everything. Totally worth it. At this point, we do not want to build the BMA until we need him. So we're just going to build up some money, see how long this really stupid strategy can survive for. And then when we need it, we're going to bother you at BMA. And don't forget, it isn't going to be zero money made, but it will be very, very, very little money made at that point. So the more money we can save up right now, the better off we're going to be. All right, padability. Everybody's working out wonderfully. Oh, my God. Last, oh, my God. Take it down. Marine's about to wear off, though. Woo! And we still survive another round. Into 88 at this point. Let's use our artillery battery blast. Don't forget, we got all these abilities. Why not use them? All right, we got a big zone, my God. Let's hug that crap. Let's marine, uh, marine destroy this crap as well. We've got padability again. It's not a long uh, cooldown on that guy. Use it almost every round. And then I'm actually a little bit worried about DDs. Oh, remember when I was telling you guys that uh, uh, this guy does extra damage to DDs? Yes, he does. But that's still probably not enough to make anything of reasonable value happen. So what I'm going to do... Why is the Marine not attacking? Or is he just sucking? Uh, I guess he's just sucking. All right, we're going to have to use our artillery battery. Uh, this could be bad, actually. We're going to use Pat's ability as well, because this is just bad all over the place. Uh, and we do take it down, but we're down a lot of our abilities. Hmm, not exactly happy about that. All right, let's throw down another Marine up here and uh, hope that we can take down DDTs with just a Marine, basically. No Pat abilities. We get a hug if we really need it. All right, Marine is not very strong against these DDTs. This guy can't deal, and DDT's gonna be deadly for us. I wish there was a magical answer for DDT's, but there really isn't. I think the Dark Knight might be our best option, um, but it's right on the cusp of us not being able to afford BMA anymore if we buy this guy up to the necessary um, uh, laser blasts and plasma blasts. So it's gonna be unfortunate, but we're gonna have to buy it and then not have BMA money for a little bit. All right, round 90, here we go. Let's see if this guy's the answer for us. Um, in addition, I could go even crazier and get something like a, a nice tower going, but I don't think that is the right answer. So, uh, unfortunately, it might be a pretty soon BMA run. Um, the nice thing is I do have the ability to warp this guy around a little bit, so I can, you know, move him around, uh, I guess. Maybe. No, I can't. Maybe. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. Um, and he will help us out against some of the Oh, crap. Uh, I have not been placing Marines down or anything. That's not helping us out very much, is it? I guess with the Marine kind of late in the map here, still doing a good enough job here. Wow, wonderful. Marine me up. Yes. All right, we got the BMA money, so if we need it, we got it. It's actually a not bad combo. Look at this. This It looks really funky, again, but it's just, it's good enough. Uh, Marine, again, cleaning things up. <laughs> I, I actually find this strategy kind of hilarious. Oh, crap, DDTs. Marine me. Uh, all right, so our Super Monkey is going to damage them enough. Marine's going to kill it off, but that does not exactly look great for round 95. I need pretty much every single ability under my belt here to make this work properly. I don't know if it's going to happen, though. Um, I'll, admittedly, I'm afraid. I'm very afraid. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. We got some ceramics near the back back here. Everybody's trying to hang on. And again, another close battle, but we do pull it off. Another round down the drain. Round 94. Let's go early Marine. Use our pad ability. I'm going to hug one of these big Zoma gods, get him out of the way, and I got to artillery batter real quick here. Um, I'm just going to I'm gonna blow up. I don't even care what I blow up. Whatever I can blow up. Blowing it up. There we go. Big blow up battle. Here we go. Artillery battery. Doing an okay job. Marine near the back to pop the ceramics. I don't love it, but we got a lot of stunning power here. Uh, unfortunately, this Marine in the back is going to be kind of useless, I think. It's going to get a little bit of popping power out of him. Just a little bit. But we get another Marine in the back now as well. It looks like these balloons are getting super duper far. Uh, pad ability could probably useless. Oh my god, there's still a lot of oh my gods here. We're gonna get, oh my god, artillery raider's not in the right spot either. All right, boys, this is what it comes down to, round 94. A double ability. Two's oh my gods. Can we make it work? Ooh, Marine, no, he can't handle. I, I feel like I gotta try that one more time. I feel like I, I made some mistakes. Uh, I feel like maybe I can I can manage this just a, a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna use my Marines a little more effectively. Uh, my artillery battery hopefully also a little more effectively and I think maybe maybe we'll pull this off also uh, I have $53,000 so I have, I have room to work I can spend another $10,000 still have BMA money without any issues whatsoever and I think I know what I want to build I'm going to do it early I'm going to build a quick uh, spike storm with bigger stacks and white house spikes 
and um, it's going to be a ton of Moab popping power and BFP popping power, and I still get to control it because it's near the back of the map here, and I get to use it on round 95, which is going to be the hard part for us. Round 95 is going to suck our balls. So artillery battery in the back. Ooh. Dang, we still didn't get it, man. I feel like we made some mistakes there, though. Maybe we can do a slightly earlier spike storm to uh, keep us in the game here. Hopefully artillery battery also. I can use him a little bit better, man. I'm sucking it up with artillery battery right now. Just microwing is just tough with all this different stuff to work around. All right. I'll save the pad ability. I don't think it's going to help us out at all. I can get a second spike storm here, though. Let's use that. And down to the last two oh my gods again. Uh, unless a marine is just completely useless right now, we should be all right. And there we go. We do it. We make it happen. Round 94 is done. We still got BMA money. We can build it any point now. All right. We can watch ourselves carefully and see what's going to happen with it. Uh, but I think for round 96, I'm just going to buy no matter what. All right. Marine is up. Spike Storm is up. Pat ability is up. Artillery battery is... They're going to use it near the front of the map. Is up. That's everything. Literally everything I got. Maybe I went a little too fast, a little too hard. But uh, maybe she likes that. You know? It kind of depends on the situations. All right. Marine struggle lugging. We got a lot, the last few DDTs in the back back here. But we take those all down as well. And we've got a Marine ready if we need it. But unfortunately, we don't. And boom, boom. Unfortunately. Fortunately, we don't. And it's BMA time, baby. So now we're going to leave this BMA on strong. We're going to move this guy off of Pursuit and back to Follow Mouse. And we're just going to let BMA do most of the work. Put him on strong. Let him just clean up these blooms. Um, he's not going to kill everything. But he's going to kill a lot of stuff. And that's the... Oh. Oh. Really? All right, BMA. B BMA. What are you what are you doing, bro? I thought you were gonna like clean these things up for me. Unfortunately, not that easily. Alright, so we might have to use a little bit more marine action than I thought, but that's okay. Uh oh, I didn't mean to hug. Uh uh I don't want to spike storm here. Also, I think the big problem for me is I'm controlling the heli pilot when I was putting Oh! What? All right, BMA, man. I thought you, I, I thought you were my chimp's, my chimp's answer. She's gonna start dominating things as soon as we got this guy. Uh, round ninety six, clearly not the answer though for some reason. All right, we're gonna have to swap our strategy up a little bit. We need more abilities. That's all we're gonna do. Use more abilities. See if that's the answer here. BMA still can clean up a lot of balloons. You can see the pop count go up when it when he hits. Uh, he's got he's like nine thousand pops in one single shot. Artillery battery can still do damage as well. Don't forget about that. We can maneuver him around a little bit as well. Boom, boom. And now we're popping Zoe, my gods, with our BMA, which is very nice to have. And I got my Marine near the back of the map, so we don't have to worry about uh, balloons until they get that far. All right. Once you get going, once you get used to the strategy, it's not too shabby. Oh, reinforce. Oh, my God. We just popped two reinforce, oh, my gods, in a single hit. That's beautiful. That's pretty beautiful. All right, let's get Pat angry. Right now, we're killing all the Zoe, my gods with this guy. Um... We're not killing the, the BFBs. So we just got to keep them on the screen for as long as we can. So, uh, I'm going to wait this out. I'd rather not pop anything, to be completely honest. But if you got to pop things, you got to pop things. All right, Marines just got to come out now that we're down in Moab. So we're going to use our artillery battery blast combo as well. Put them nearer to the back. And things are going. Uh, the last of my gods are about to get popped right now. So that means we're down to just reinforced BFBs left. I'd really love to save my Spike Storm, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Oh, yeah, we're out of everything, aren't we? Oh, gosh. All right, artillery battery, we're going to move him to the back. We're going to use the spike binds. Pat, I don't really think I could use his angriness here. BMA still got to clean up a few more balloons. All right, BMA, get to work. There we go. Another big chunk of BFB is gone. Get these last guys taken down. We got two more mobs to go. Oh, kill as many as you can. Kill as many as you can. There we go. We get a big chunk of them. A few more mobs near the back. And the few ceramics, oh, they sneak through! All right, so it looks like we gotta support ourselves. So believe it or not, one of the best ways to support yourself is just by slowing down the balloons. Get a Moab Blue, we're gonna get bigger globs, we're gonna get Glue Splatter, we're gonna put them on strong, and we're gonna see if this is gonna be the big difference for us. Also, I don't actually think it's gonna be that big of a deal to pop the balloons. Um, I think popping the BFBs is not a big deal at all, actually, because we gotta pop most of them anyways. Uh, and as long as this guy takes down the Zoma Gods, I mean, that's a huge chunk of balloons gone right then and there. All right, it's going, oh, I don't want to say significantly better, but definitely better than last time. Oh, yeah, I think significantly better is the answer. Oh, significantly better. BMA, get to work, get to work. I got all my abilities ready to go, but I don't even need them. I don't even need them. Oh, my God, deliciousness. 
All right, Moab Glue is clearly the answer. BMA that Moab Glue uh, combo is just delicious. All right, we need another Marine. We're going to Spike Storm here for round 99. I will use the artillery battery as well, I think. No, we don't need it. Okay, we're good. All right, so for round 100. Now, this is an interesting one. Round freaking 100. I've got $7,000, but... I have no idea if this is going to be enough. I think if we can get it... Um, oh, gosh. we got to put this guy on follow mouse just to thread on the marine. Somewhere where we can see it. Um, and I... Yeah, we got to pop the bad layer. If we can pop the bad layer, we might be okay with the BMA. Just pop everything else on the inside here. All right, Spike Storm's going to do a ton of work. Another marine. I don't know if Pat's ability is going to affect him. It does affect him! That's awesome, actually. That's super sweet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Marine near the back. DDTs. Uh-oh. Can we pop the freaking DDTs on the inside here? I don't think we can. We get another Spike Storm just about ready, though. Maybe. Can we get lucky? Will BM be quick enough? Oh, and the bad balloon just going to walk right through our defense. Can't even pop it whatsoever. Okay, so it's most definitely possible. That's the good news. The bad news is, is we got to hit the DDTs with this uh, BMA. Otherwise, it's for sure game over. So I moved him to first. And I'm wondering if this first is going to help us out at all. Also, last Marine here. Oh, we hit this. Oh, my gods again. So I was thinking if we can pop the bad, maybe we can decamo the DDTs. And we got to do it cheaply, obviously. And then we can buy something to slow down those DDTs. Maybe something like a Moab glue. And we have almost the exact amount of money necessary to make that happen. What if we do something absolutely wild? What if we decide none of that's necessary and we can pop the DDTs better by moving the BMA to the back of the map? Now, can he still hit DDTs with, uh, without the camera detection automatically? Well, this should decamble them. Hmm, all right. I'm not sold, but I'm not not sold. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the answer yet. All right, another Marine down here. Eh, a little early, but I think it's a slightly better position. Got to get this guy very, very well. And we are going to use Pat's ability again. It does seem to give the uh, Marine slightly more popping power, I believe. I believe. Not 100% sure about that. And uh, we're now to the very nitty-gritty here in the very, very back of the map. Move him to... He's got to be on first. All right. Another Marine. Artillery battery. Again, it's so hard to micro everything here. But here we go. Bad balloon. Come on, baby. Come on. You know you want to die. Please. Die for me! Wait, we got Spike Storm ready to go. Spike Storm! And we popped it, but didn't get the BMA to attack at all. Okay, so in an interesting turn of events, you cannot hit BMA, uh, DTs with BMA. Unless you give them cam detection. Or, or, decamble them. So if we decamble them, we need something like a Shimmer, or the Sub, or something to decamble those DTs, so BMA can then hit them. But, you'll notice, we did not pop three DTs with a single shot. We only popped one for some reason, but I know that we could pop, I believe, at least two. Yeah, we could pop at least two, unless we get larger potions, which might allow us to pop three DDTs if we hit them just right. Maybe. There we go. Ho, 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 ho. So it might be possible. Okay, I did something a little wilder, a little crazier. It's not over yet, though. Um... Everybody's kind of going to town right now, but Bad Balloon is not going to get popped quick enough here. Okay. Okay. Noted. Oh, this is looking pretty sexy. This is looking really sexy. Uh, if we can move BMA down in time, we have a, a chance. I don't even know if this is going to be the answer, but BMA in the back. I could instead maybe move the glue gunner to the back. That is a, a, a real option for us. Uh, I got one more marine to go. Let's go, baby. Marine me up. Bad balloon. Artillery battery. Maneuver! Oh, we get this, oh my gods, again, but not the DDTs. If you enjoyed, press that like button. Make sure you subscribe and use my creator support code. It's SJB. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going for an absolutely crazy and bonkers strategy. It, everything's got to go literally perfect to make this work. But I'm going to try to pop the DDTs. Okay, this is how I'm going to do it. We're going to start off by switching this guy to follow mouse. We're going to press go. We're going to move this guy as close as we can to the village to get pops and to make things happen. We're going to use both abilities here at the same time while also using our Marine fairly early. If it's in range, we get it barely in range there. Not perfect. Not, not, not perfect, perfect, but pretty close to perfect. 
And then we're going to have the uh, uh, Super Monkey warp over whenever we get the chance to, because this is the only extra pop power we get is this one warp. But here's the interesting thing. We're going to wait. We're going to use this Spike Storm as soon as we get it. But soon after that, we're going to have to use this Marine. Try to put it down in the spot where we can still hit it kind of all the way across the board here. But then our second and last movement ability with our support Chinook has to be a move on the Spike Storm. We're going to move the Spike Storm to the very back of the map back here. Hope that this guy can get some extra pops out of this bad. And then also, hopefully, kill the freaking DDTs, man. All right, let's see if we can make it happen. We're going to go boom, boom with that combo. And I actually don't want the bad to pop just yet. We're going to have to use this artillery battery uh, blast in addition to all this extra help. We're going to get this last... Uh, a oh! Oh! Did we do it? We did it! We did it! I didn't even need the spike storm! I guess when we picked it up, we did we lost our ability time. And we still did it! DDT's got popped by the spike factory in the back. Unfrickin' believable! And we make a BMA chim strategy actually work. Unbelievable. Alright, so BMA popped only half a billion. That's actually kind of low for what he did and for the amount of money that he stole from me. Um, a support Chinook. Special operations. A million. Delicious. Uh, artillery battery. Blasting away for 310k pops. Okay, so Dark Knight kind of sucked. And these guys, yeah, they did their job. Pat Fossey also 151k. That's actually not bad for a hero. Um, yeah, overall, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this a strategy that you're really going to want to use in your games? Because I would, I would guess no. But it's possible. And that's the fun thing.